it's a pretty big stack. I just need to take a thumbnail. Give me a second. Oh my gosh. You'll see why this is difficult in three, two, one. It's those again. Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I'm doing a library haul and it's a pretty big stack. I have a big stack of books and then I have another slightly smaller stack of books. So I'm going to do this haul in kind of two parts. It has a nice division. It has books I got at my library and books I either ordered or bought at a store or got for my birthday. So for this video, we're going to do my library haul. And then next week, probably, because I think I'm just going to film these back to back, you will see the books that I have accumulated since sometime in May. So Welcome to my library haul. So the first book, and this is actually, I believe, the most recent one I grabbed. I guess I should do a little preface. Preface? Is it preface or preface? Let me know. Do you say preface or preface? Because I've heard it both ways, and I used to always say preface. And then I heard a lot of people say preface. And so now I don't know which way is the correct way. But either way, I work at a library and we get donations of books and sometimes we put those books in our circulation and sometimes we sell those at our used bookstore. And since I work at the library, I get to see them as they come in usually and if I see a book or two that I'm interested in, then it's up for grabs. And I sometimes take advantage of that. Although this is since May. That's not that much. It kind of is, let's be real. But either way, it's what I have and we're just gonna... Go with it. So that being said, the first book I have is Brian's Winter by Gary Paulson. I read Hatchet by Gary Paulson years and years and years ago for school and I remember enjoying it and I know these are very kind of wilderness centered and was in slash still am kind of in just not really reading them as much a wilderness book mood and so I saw this one I haven't completed the series I only read Hatchet the first book and this is I want to say the second one I think there's four three or four in this series and I want to at some point read the series and I just I really liked this cover and so I grabbed it. I have The Last Kind Word Saloon by Larry McMurdy. You might recognize that last name as the author of Lonesome Dove, which I kind of want to read. It was on the Great American Reads list and that kind of put it more on my radar and a, hmm, I should read that. I should also watch the movie. I haven't done that yet and I really need to. But it is a huge book and there's kind of you know a back and forth about it some people love it some people hate it so I figured if I ever do read it I'd probably do a whole video dedicated to it but I kind of before I jump into that feel like maybe I should just read one of his shorter books and see if I like his writing style so when someone donated this it's in very great condition I figured you know what I might as well grab it and we'll just see maybe I'll read it before I read Lonesome Dove maybe I'll just jump right into Lonesome Dove who knows this next book is just it's it's because me. <laughs> so if you've been around for a while, then you probably know that I love New Mexico and I love Santa Fe and Taos. It's just, I love that Southwestern style. I love the atmosphere of those towns. And so I grabbed um, Santa Fe and Taos, the Explorer's Guide, because why wouldn't I? I'm going to go back at some point and I might as well be able to read up from here. I mean, look at this. Oh my goodness. I opened it up to a page that says shopping and the first thing on here is Broad Sky Bookshop. So yeah, I have this. Did I need it? No, but was I going to not grab it? Obviously not. The next book I'm very excited for. During the winter break, I did a mini mister. Don't ever, ever do a mini mister in the winter break. It'll kill you. What kills you about it is the fact that you don't get a break. You go from school to very intense school to school to, in my case, more summer school. So it's just the no break of all of this school is really getting to me and so I do not recommend it. But anyway, I took a speech class and one of my speeches I did on the Appalachian Trail and one of my references was a book called Grandma Gatewood's Walk. The Inspiring Story of the Woman Who Saved the Appalachian Trail by Ben Montgomery. I never actually read the book, I just kind of took a few quotes from it and got a little synopsis about it. But since then, I have wanted to read the book, especially after reading A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. That book is just still one of my favorites, and so I have a feeling this one probably will be too. And her story just sounds amazing. And so when someone donated it, I could not say no. Fun fact, I grabbed these two in the same day. The same person had donated them, and I just kind of took them and then put them in my bag. Next. 
This one's fun. This one's going to be a coffee table book and I kind of really want to at least visit all of the destinations in Texas at least, which in itself is kind of a feat because Texas is a very large state if you didn't know that. But it is 101 Art Destinations in the U.S. by Owen Phillips. This is just, it's like a coffee table book. First of all, hang on, look at that. That's just beautiful. Check that out. And then it's just full of art museums, you can't really see that, in the United States. And I think it's divided by region. But it's just, it's really cool. It's got a couple of pictures from each museum and some like descriptions about each museum. And it's just really fun to flip through and it makes me want to just visit all of these art museums. So these next three I also grabbed from the same person who donated them. And I technically apparently didn't need to because my grandmother has a lot of these style books. One other problem I have with just doing school, 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 school is that I feel like you don't have breaks to do your own things and I miss being able to just be creative for the sake of being creative and one of the things that I have been wanting to learn for ages because my grandmother did a lot of watercolors is watercoloring. And so I grabbed these books when someone donated them. I might flip through them and then donate them back. I might keep them. We shall see. But uh, I'll show them to you. The first one I have is Wet on Wet Watercolor Painting, A Complete Guide to Techniques and Materials by Iwa Karpinska. You can take a quick flip through that. The next one is The Joy of Watercolor, A Complete Course in Watercolor Using Your Sketchbook as a Workbook by David Millard. Quick flip through that. I really like this style of watercolor. So I have a feeling of these two like method kind of books, I'll probably try and do more stuff out of this one. And the last one I have is Create Your Own Artist's Journal by Erin O'Toole. And for years I wanted to create my own artist journal and I've attempted a couple of times but it has just never happened. And I wanna read through this and see what it says, what tips it gives. And part of my problem is, you know, when you just wanna be like good at something right away, that's part of my problem. So I'm hoping it helps me let go of that. <laughs> and we're on to the final books. If you were here a couple months back, I don't remember when I got the first ones, but I got some of these very big, very beautiful leather bound books from my library. And I noticed that someone had donated more. So I had my sister take a picture of the ones that I already had. And I went and took a picture of the ones we had on the shelf and I crossed out the ones that I already had. And so I was able to grab the ones I didn't have. And now I have them. I don't know if any of that that made sense but that's how it happened. So they are these beauties and I love them. I know I'm never gonna actually read them but they're gonna look great on my shelves. And we'll just go through these new ones I got. If you want to see the first ones I got I'll find that video and link it but these are additions to my collection. We have the Alaskans, the Railroads, the Miners, the Loggers, the Gamblers, the Great Chiefs, the Indians, and the gunfighters. So they're all about the Wild West, the South, the Southwestern style, culture, that kind of thing. And I love them. And so I have more to my collection. How many do I have? I don't remember how many I have, but it's quite a few. And that is it. Those are all of my library books. Let me move these so I can actually sit normally. So that is it. Those are all of the books that I have acquired from my library. Comment down below and let me know, is there some kind of artistic thing that you wish you could do better? Cause like I sew, I crochet, I kind of do like a little bit of a lot of stuff, but I feel like I've never really dabbled in watercolor even though I have wanted to for such a long time. And so that's kind of the thing that I want to learn to do. I also want to just do more of the crafty things I like to do and have time to, but that's a whole nother conundrum. Also comment down below because of this book. What is one art museum that you say every everyone has to go to, or two, if you have two. I have two. The first one is a given, and that is the Georgia O'Keeffe Art Museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Just do yourself a favor and go. And while you're there, you can go to my other suggestion, and that is the Meow Wolf Art Museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It is this like interactive art experience thing, and you're gonna walk into this house, and it's gonna seem like a normal house, but there's gonna be something a little off, and then you might you know, see someone walk out of the fridge. Check that out if you're ever in Santa Fe and then let me know what art museums I should check out whenever I go other places. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all again on the one soon.